Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this quick video, we're going to take a look at a new node that's just been added to geometry nodes in Blender 3.0 Alpha, which is available on builder.blender.org. Let's get right into it. This new node is called the Mesh to Curve node. It's found under the Add Curve menu. And what this node does is takes an input mesh and then does its best to convert it into curves. If we wanted to accomplish something like the wireframe modifier, we could now take this curve output, change it back into a mesh, then apply a profile curve to it. I've got this polygon. It's just a simple pentagon that I've added. I'll use that as the profile curve. It does seem that there are some cases where certain parts of the curve won't have the profile curve applied to them. But I did see, if I offset this top by just a little, it does create them. Another interesting thing you can do with this node is to distribute more points along the edges of your meshes. For instance, I'm going to add a rock using the rock generator and apply its modifiers and then shrink it down and apply its scale. Now on this mesh to curve, I'm going to do a point instance and choose the rock. Initially, this acts just like it would if we just used the mesh. However, if I add a resample curve after the mesh to curve, you'll see that I can control how many rocks are put on each edge. Now, if I were to add an attribute randomize, stick it here, and affect the rotation, I could have something kind of interesting. I'll do this again, but now change the scale. The Mesh to Curve node has one other option, and that's a selection mask. Just like some other nodes, the selection mask allows you to make an attribute that will determine whether or not that node is applied. So for instance here, if I were to add a vertex group and assign this part of the mesh to it, now I can put that vertex group here in the selection, and only that part of the mesh will be converted to a curve. So that's the new Mesh to Curve node. I hope it gives you some ideas, and I hope it inspires you to create something awesome. If you've been enjoying the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time.